It began innocently enough. Just another day, just another app. A friend sent a telegram invite, praising its privacy features. They said it was the future of messaging. I created an account, intrigued by the hype. The interface was sleek, the promises of privacy alluring. Little did I know I was about to descend into Telegram's dark underbelly. It started with an innocuous looking group, the name a jumble of random letters and numbers. Initially, it seemed like any other group chat, filled with memes and casual banter. Then the tone shifted. Links to exclusive content began to surface. They were intriguing, promising something beyond the ordinary. Images too disturbing to describe flickered across my screen. My stomach churned. This was not the telegram I had signed up for. Fear warred with curiosity. I muted notifications, my finger hovering over the leave group button. It would have been so easy to leave, but like a moth drawn to a dangerous flame, I stayed. There was something compelling about the unknown. I had to understand the extent of this hidden world. Each group led to another, each link a new revelation. This was just the tip of the iceberg. Beneath the surface, there was a vast, hidden network of content. What followed was a series of discoveries, each more unsettling than the last. The deeper I went, the darker it became. My journey into Telegram's dark side had just begun. It was a path I never intended to take, but one I couldn't turn away from. The allure of the unknown was too strong, and I was in too deep to simply walk away. As I delved deeper into the dark web, I uncovered a sprawling network of illicit groups, each more secretive and dangerous than the last. It was a hidden world operating in the shadows far from the reach of conventional law enforcement. Each group, a different flavor of illegal activity, thrived in this digital underworld. From drug trafficking to illegal arms sales, the dark web was a marketplace for all things forbidden. One group, specializing in stolen credit card data, resembled a digital flea market. Here, users could buy and sell credit card information as easily as one might trade baseball cards. Users hawked stolen identities and financial information, their messages a mix of braggadocio and paranoia. They boasted about their exploits while constantly looking over their shoulders, aware of the ever-present threat of being caught. Another group, dedicated to counterfeit documents, offered a chilling glimpse into the ease with which identities could be forged. The sheer variety of documents available was staggering. Passports, driver's licenses, even university degrees, all available for the right price. It was a sobering reminder of how easily one's identity could be fabricated or stolen. It was a stark reminder of the fragility of our digital identities in this digital age. With just a few clicks, someone could become you, or you could become someone else entirely. The most disturbing discovery was a group peddling child exploitation material. The very existence of such a group was a testament to the darkest aspects of human nature. The mere existence of such a group, operating with seeming impunity, sent chills down my spine. It was a stark reminder of the depths of depravity that some individuals could sink to. It was a stark reminder of the darkest corners of the internet, places where law enforcement struggled to maintain a foothold. Despite their best efforts, these digital criminals often stayed one step ahead. My journey through Telegram's dark underbelly painted a grim picture. It was a world where anonymity reigned supreme, and the rule of law was but a distant memory. The platform, designed to protect privacy, had become a haven for criminal activity. What was meant to be a tool for secure communication had been twisted into a conduit for illegal transactions. The anonymity it afforded emboldened users to engage in activities they wouldn't dare attempt on more public platforms. Hidden behind layers of encryption, they felt invincible, free to indulge in their darkest desires without fear of retribution. News of Pavel Durov's arrest sent shockwaves through the tech world. The enigmatic CEO of Telegram, known for his staunch defense of user privacy, was accused of facilitating criminal activity on his platform. The charges were serious. Money laundering, drug trafficking, even links to terrorist organizations. Durov, always a controversial figure, maintained his innocence. He argued that Telegram's encryption protocols prevented him from accessing user data, making it impossible to moderate content effectively. His defense, while technically accurate, rang hollow to many. 
The arrest sparked a global debate. Was Durov a champion of privacy or a willing accomplice to criminal activity? Had his unwavering commitment to anonymity inadvertently created a monster? The answers were far from clear. One thing was certain, Durov's arrest had thrown Telegram's future into disarray. The platform, once hailed as a bastion of free speech, was now facing intense scrutiny from governments and law enforcement agencies worldwide. Section 4. The Shield and the Sword Telegram's Balancing Act. The debate surrounding Telegram's moderation practices is complex and multifaceted. Proponents argue that the platform's end-to-end -end encryption is crucial for protecting privacy and free speech in an increasingly surveilled world. They see Telegram as a vital tool for journalists, activists and whistleblowers operating in repressive regimes. Critics, however, contend that Telegram's hands-off approach has allowed the platform to become a breeding ground for illegal activity. They argue that the company has a moral and ethical obligation to prevent its platform from being used for harmful purposes. The reality, as is often the case, lies somewhere in between. Telegram's encryption technology, while undoubtedly beneficial for protecting privacy, has also made it incredibly difficult to police illegal content. The platform's decentralized nature, with its vast network of groups and channels, further complicates moderation efforts. The question remains, can Telegram find a way to balance its commitment to user privacy with its responsibility to prevent harm? The answer to this question will have far-reaching consequences for the future of online communication. Section 5. Murky Waters Ahead. Telegram's Uncertain Future. The arrest of Pavel Durov has cast a long shadow over Telegram's future. As the visionary behind the platform, Durov's legal troubles have sent shockwaves through the tech community and beyond. The platform, once a rising star in the world of secure messaging, now faces an uncertain future. Telegram has been a beacon for those seeking privacy and security in their communications, but recent events have put its very existence at risk. Governments are clamping down, demanding greater accountability and transparency. The pressure from various national authorities is mounting as they seek to regulate and control the flow of information on the platform. Law enforcement agencies are stepping up their efforts to infiltrate and shut down criminal networks operating within the app. Telegram's reputation as a safe haven for privacy has also made it a target for those looking to exploit its features for illicit purposes. The outcome of Durov's legal battles will undoubtedly have a significant impact on Telegram's trajectory. The court's decisions could set precedents that affect not only Telegram, but also other platforms that prioritize user privacy. A guilty verdict could cripple the company, forcing it to make significant concessions to regulators or face the threat of being banned in key markets. This would be a devastating blow to the millions of users who rely on Telegram for secure communication. Even if Telegram weathers the current storm, it's clear that the platform is at a crossroads. The decisions made in the coming months will shape its future and determine whether it can continue to operate as it has in the past. It can no longer afford to ignore the growing concerns about its role in facilitating illegal activities. The scrutiny from both the public and authorities is intensifying and Telegram must address these issues head on. The challenge for Telegram will be to find a way to address these concerns without compromising the core values of privacy and free speech that have been its hallmark. Striking this balance will be crucial for its survival and continued relevance. Whether Telegram can successfully navigate these treacherous waters remains to be seen. The path ahead is fraught with challenges, and the stakes have never been higher for the platform and its users. One thing is certain, the platform's fate will have profound implications for the future of online privacy and the ongoing battle between security and freedom in the digital age. The outcome of this struggle will resonate far beyond Telegram, influencing the broader landscape of digital communication and privacy rights.